Hello and welcome back to another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. I'm Kip K. I love music, probably all forms of music, but with all this musical passion, I don't really know how to play any instruments. I did at one point consider learning how to play the guitar, but I never really got around to it. I was surprised to find out that there's some guitars that are three, four thousand dollars and up. Well, that's not an excuse for me not just getting down and learning how to play the guitar because there's a lot of affordable guitars you can buy. Well, that wasn't always the case back in the 1950s and before that when instruments were pretty expensive to make. So a lot of people resorted to making their own instruments and one of those was a cigar box guitar because of how plentiful wooden cigar boxes were and because they were easy to make. Well, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make an electrified cigar box guitar on today's weekend project. You'll find the cigar box project by Ed Vogel in Make Volume 4. Just about any cigar box will work for this project. The one I found was at a cigar store for $2. The neck of the guitar is made out of 1x2 red oak, and the first step is to make some marks for our tuner holes. Since this is a three-string guitar, we're going to make marks for six holes according to the dimensions in the project. Then on the other end of the neck, we're going to mark six locations for our tail holes. Then using a quarter-inch drill bit, we're going to carefully drill out the tuner holes and then also the tail holes. Since our cigar box guitar is going to be electrified, we're going to use a piezo transducer and also a quarter inch mono phone jack. After wiring them up together, the quarter inch phone jack will be installed in the cigar box after drilling a small hole. And then also using some super glue, we will glue the piezo transducer down into the box. And now the box needs to be sealed shut and we'll use super glue to do that as well. Okay, it's time to mark where the neck will go on the body, so we will lay it in place and make sure the six tail holes are hanging off the one end and draw a couple of lines to mark the location. And then I used some five-minute epoxy and mixed up a generous quantity of that, put that in the location that we marked, and then put the neck on the body, and you may want to use a couple of books to hold it in place until it dries. We need a bridge and a nut for the guitar. We'll be using some quarter inch square wood stock and marking the locations for both the bridge and for the nut and gluing those in place using super glue. While we could use real tuning pegs, three inch eye bolts are more DIY and a lot cheaper. So we'll use those along with a nut and washer and then run that up through the head on the neck and attach another washer and wing nut. Our string will be ordinary mason twine and a lot of times this will fray when you cut it, so if you use a lighter and just torch the very end, that'll seal any fraying. The string is run into each hole below the tuning eye bolt, and a knot tied at the eye bolt, and then two or three turns just to get enough string. And the other end of the string goes down over the bridge and into the closest tail hole to the bridge. The project calls for using wood screws, but I had some bolts and nuts and decided to take a bolt and run it up through the outside hole, put a nut on the other end, and that allowed me to tighten up the string down at the tail. The last step is to add a half a dozen frets, and that's easily accomplished by using some two inch nails and some rubber bands. Well, the cigar box guitar is finished, and I've turned it over to my friend John here because he knows how to play the guitar and the frets have been moved around and tuned as best it can. It seems the twine likes to stretch and it becomes untuned, so maybe a little bit tweaking with the uh, eye bolts and the wing nuts on the end would prevent that from uh, happening. But the cigar box guitar works. It's plugged into our little mini amp back here, and it was a fun little project and easy to make. So make yourself your own musical instrument this weekend, the cigar box guitar. We'll see you next time with another weekend project.